that's why they worked even harder to find a way to silence me. Mm. What happens when you're the greatest at the beginning? Nobody wants you to open up for them because you're going to make them look inferior. And you have to be able to headline every show. And Jaguar Wright has stirred the media with her allegations that Oprah Winfrey was involved in a disturbing plan connected to Sean Diddy Combs following his recent legal troubles and arrest. In her claims, Wright suggests that Oprah may have played a role in covering up or facilitating some of the controversial activities associated with Diddy over the years. Those doors do not open. That's how it works. Um, someone like me is a great danger, huge danger, because not only am I outspoken and not only do I still have the stamina to go at this thing at the, the rate that I go at it, pushing 50. They're pissed because I won't break. That encourages people to do what? Keep Jaguar Wright is known for her fiercely outspoken personality, especially when it comes to exposing what she perceives as the darker, exploitative side of the entertainment industry. These, how are these people able to keep going on with the career? What do you mean? Doing these heinous what crimes. Do, what do you mean? Like, I'm just saying. You ain't like, never had a boy that you know did a whole bunch of dirt and you let him make it? You telling me that never happened? You never had somebody in your life who you know was dirty, who you know did dirt, and you let them make it. I hear, I see what you're saying, but... Think about that on a corporate level. Right. R. Kelly was the first corporately sponsored pedophile in the United States. Everybody knew. That's why I couldn't really watch that documentary, because half of the people that was in there, I can't believe he did it. You used to go get the bitch, too! I watched you, dog. Wright's boldness isn't just limited to naming names she dives deep into what she views as systemic exploitation, particularly of women in the industry. But th this gay agenda has to stop. To be homosexual is one thing. To be a gay person is fine. But to use it to manipulate and brainwash society for um, the purpose of population control or class control, caste system domination, that's not what, that shouldn't be. Yeah. It shouldn't be. Isn't that just being inclusive? Like, hey, we're trying to include everybody into no. our agenda. No, and it's not being inclusive. What it is, is it's being covertly domineering. Her fearlessness in speaking out against industry giants, even at the risk of her own reputation, underscores her determination to shed light on what she believes are significant injustices. What did you know that was going on in the world of Diddy? He's a sex fucker. He's got guns and he's got semen coated fucking VHS tapes. Oh. Is that something normal that yeah. happens in Hollywood? Yeah. Freak offs. Yeah. Everybody know that. <laughs> I've been saying it. So do you feel like people, when they hear uh, pink cocaine, Young Miami has to bring across? Now, gay men have been using this for years. See, back in the day, if you went to a gay party or a gay rave, there were certain drugs that you would always find on hand. Viagra, XD, Special K, and cocaine. Now, see, the cocaine keep you up all night, but unfortunately, it gives you limp noodle. So that's why you have the Viagra. Now, see, the ketamine, that's a horse tranquilizer, so that relaxes all your muscles. You wouldn't feel it that Dr. Omar has raised concerns about Oprah Winfrey's immense influence in Hollywood, suggesting that many may hesitate to oppose her due to her considerable power. This dynamic can create a chilling effect, where celebrities and industry figures might think twice before speaking out against her or challenging her narrative. A lot of his guests are canceling their interviews because they don't want to get blacklisted by Oprah. Who wants to be on the wrong side of Oprah in Hollywood? Who wants to be on the wrong side of Tyler Perry in Hollywood? Who wants to be on the wrong side of Steve Harvey in Hollywood? And as a result of that... Hollywood has long been associated with a dark underbelly of scandals, misconduct, and exploitation, often involving major names in the industry. And Kevin Brown mm -hmm. and Andre Brown, uh, and he was later on 30 Rock, but he, they would come to us and they would tell us about vanity and losing your mind in Hollywood and be careful. And they came back from Hollywood 
to try and expand us. And they sat us down they're like, you ain't going to believe what we saw. And I'm like, what did you see? <laughs> and they said, we saw so-and-so, huge name, so-and-so, huge name, and so-and-so, big name back in the day, chicken hawking at a party. And I went, what? what? See, you're white. I said, I said what's chicken hawking? Everyone laughed. <laughs> He's white. He don't know chicken. I said, what's chicken hawking? That's when you were uh, hanging out with boys at the transvestites. I went, why? Diddy's recent arrest stems from explosive allegations made by his ex-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, who accused him of physical mistreatment. Well, it's about time Diddy was just arrested. So according to TMZ, Diddy was arrested and taken to federal custody in New York Monday night. Sources tell the outlet Homeland Security swooped into a Midtown hotel late Monday where Diddy was staying and they arrested him. I literally just saw footage of Diddy taking photos with fans with his children in Harlem. They said, we have unconfirmed reports that feds are searching his hotel room. TMZ continues that they're, they're told that Diddy was taken to the FBI field office in Manhattan. It appears the action was taken in connection with the ongoing criminal investigation in the alleged X trafficking and other offenses that led to search warrants of his New York home, LA home, and Miami home. According to Diddy's attorney, he tells TMZ, we're disappointed with the decision to pursue what we believe is an unjust prosecution of Mr. Combs by the U.S. Attorney's Office. Sean Diddy Combs is a music icon, self-made entrepreneur, loving family man, and proven philanthropist. Cassie's friend provided key evidence in the case, corroborating her claims and leading to Diddy's arrest after a video of his mistreatment surfaced. Cassie's bravery in coming forward could mark a pivotal moment in how Hollywood addresses abusive behavior. Standing in the like living room area and she's there and he was like, emotional singing, there you are. And I just was like, oh, he's talking to me. And I remember like, I don't know if you know his, his what his voice sounds like, but like, I felt like I was in the presence of his monster inside. And I remember like looking in his eyes and I said to him, what did y'all do? Cause I could see that she was like really sedated. That was the first time I ever seen her like high before. And then he says, tell your girl she wants some birthday. And we were like, well, I mean, he's saying this to me and I'm like, well, she doesn't have to have sex with you if she doesn't want to. He was upset, like, you know, I guess she, that she didn't want to do with him whatever she, whatever he wanted, I don't know. I don't feel like I could advocate for myself in that moment. Like, I realized, like, oh, this guy is dead. Robert Redford has spoken out about Hollywood's systemic problems, stating that uncovering the truth about its dark side is becoming more challenging than ever. It's not, it's not easy. I'll tell you that, it's not easy. The threats are enormous, and, and uh, because success breeds a lot of attention. And some of the attention is good, obviously you want it, and some of the attention is not good, it's inflated. And if you buy into that, then I think it's, it begins a downward slide. So I guess the way to keep your balance is to not be, I don't live in Hollywood, I live away. Um, I try to keep a separate life, that is more uh, real on a daily basis. Otherwise, if I gave myself completely over uh, to show business, I think I'd be lost. Yes, do you think that we always need to have the truth? Yes, I think it's essential. We have to have the truth and that getting to the truth is harder and harder in, in society today because of all the kind of the assault on our senses with media and technology. It's hitting us from so many angles. It's telling us so many stories at the same time. It's hard for the public to really understand where is the truth, but I think the truth is essential. Mm -hmm. And I've always felt that the best way to get to the truth was through journalism. That's why I'm a big fan of journalism. Oprah Winfrey has faced allegations of mistreating celebrities for decades. One of the biggest reasons we need to talk about Oprah Winfrey again was because of her friendship with John of God, the spiritual healer who believed he could channel the spirits of doctors and saints. And he would perform surgeries on people with his bare hands and scissors. Not to mention John of God also literally essayed hundreds of different young girls and women, ranging from the ages of nine to 67. And some of his victims included his own daughter and her daughter, his granddaughter. And he was also running a ring 
selling newborns to childless couples for $50,000. All while being a- Monique alleged that Oprah betrayed her, effectively sabotaging her career. She said, if you don't want me to have your brother on the show, I will cancel the show. No show will happen, but I wanted to call you up to see how you felt first. When I hung up that phone, brother, I looked at my husband and I said, that bitch is all right with me. That's a real- She kept it because she- Because she didn't have to call me up. She didn't have to say my brother was coming. She could have just ran with shit and let it happen. I dig her for that. Now I begin to see commercials with my brother, my mother, my father, and my other brother. I would say Oprah Winfrey, you know what you need to do and stop hiding behind what you call was negative comments, what you call, oh, I don't even deal with things like that because what people are beginning to do is see you for who you are. That's what she said to me. She says, oh, I say that to everybody. Well, then what does that make you? Everybody reminds you of you? Or do you just say things in the moment? So when I say to our community, I know Oprah Winfrey when the curtains are closed. I know it when the cameras aren't running. That's why Oprah Winfrey does not want to sit down publicly with me nor my husband to have a conversation because within minutes, the community would know who Oprah Winfrey really was because what she's not used to is anybody asking her any questions. I'm the deliverer. I'm the author. I'm the authority of all life and all beings. And I know it all. Oprah conducted an infamous interview with the alleged victims of Michael Jackson, which many viewed as an attempt to further tarnish his reputation. No, but in, the, in that statement, the reason why I made that, and it, like people, like you can read into it how, however you want to make, I made that to really more to, to poke at the media because the fact that I'm saying we don't keep the same energy. I still ain't seen Har I have not seen Harvey Weinstein's mugshot. Mm -hmm. Every time a rapper or every time a black man gets arrested, where are the where are the college ladies mugshots? The Aunt Becky and them. Oprah's long-standing association with controversial figures has fueled allegations that she aligns herself with them to maintain her power base. I started out giving a week's pay. I remember that because when I had my very first job in television, my first boss, Harold Crump called us up and gave us a week's pay for Christmas. And so I did that every year yeah, yeah. after right. I had my own 25 Two years. months is a lot. Right. Is a lot. So yeah, we have a lot to talk to you about, Oprah. We're going to start with, because you've been making news lately about the documentary. Involving I try not to make news. But I know. Because you decided to take your name off the documentary involving Russell Simmons um, and his alleged abuse of women. And I think people question, why would Oprah, of all people, do that? Well, first of all, I just want to say that um, I have lived Me Too yeah. since I was nine years old mm -hmm. and was raped at nine, sexually assaulted from nine to 14, and then raped again at 14. And nothing is harder than standing up for yourself when you're 14 and not being believed. And I was not believed by my own family. Joe Rogan has also explored the darker side of Oprah's influence, revealing how she has the power to cancel individuals and control narratives in Hollywood. <laughs> I love Oprah. Don't get me wrong. I think she's a wonderful woman. I think she's a powerful force of good and positive energy. <laughs> but she ain't no Elon. <laughs> but she also brought up Dr. Oz and The Secret. We, we, have, we have to remember what this lady has done. <laughs> she has to be held accountable. <laughs> I forgive her, but I mean, cut the shit. The secret is a particularly egregious hey. offense. What? You don't, you just, oh, you don't believe? You eat my wings until I take off. What's up? Yeah. It was one of the more dis confu I want to say disturbing, but it was confusing when that was taking hold of people. When I, I, I had friends that were telling me that the secret is real and that they imagined they were going to fulfill these childhood dreams that they had had yeah. about whatever, being a fucking astronaut, whatever, whatever it would be. But there was a couple people that I knew that were trying to tell me that the secret was going to be the thing and that they had a vision board and they had photographs, they put pictures up of the things that they wanted. Uh -huh. Ray J recently expressed his disapproval of Diddy's actions during an appearance on the Hollywood Unlocked podcast. 
He openly declared that he no longer wishes to associate with Diddy due to the disturbing allegations of mistreatment, particularly those involving Cassie. And if I did see something like that, I would have definitely went, went to her defense on that. That's despicable. Yeah. Um, and I think a lot of men might have been in those situations. I think anybody that's done that to a woman has no right to even say it's despicable now. Like, so if you're a guy and you've done some shit like that, um, just be quiet and like get your life together and go away and you know what i'm saying from the world that we're in i don't think you're invited anymore to any like space and time in this space find find god you know but that's fucking unexcusable and unacceptable candace owens has been vocal about what she sees as a media cover-up regarding diddy's alleged crimes and there always has been one, and it's also pretty obvious that the mainstream media is basically just falling over themselves to hide that glaring obvious fact because they are part and parcel of that gang, hence the reason they are oddly quiet or protective when it comes to the Diddy case. Referring, of course, to Sean Combs, known once as Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, I don't know what year you grew up in, he changes his name very often but he is facing new sex trafficking allegations in a lawsuit that was filed by a former porn star. Now, I wanna recap this because I was hot on this case before I got taken off air. And sometimes I wonder, because the media just sort of totally flipped on me until they wanted to turn me into a bad guy, if it's partially due to me having covered this case in a way that most mainstream media members refuse to. So let's quickly recap. We had last year Cassie Ventura who dated Diddy for over 10 years come forward with allegations that he had committed rape when he got mad at her, battery, that he had forced her into sex acts with male sex workers. But she also alleged that he was a gangster, that he had once bombed the car of fellow rapper Kid Cudi when he got mad because Kid Cudi and Cassie were dating when her and Diddy were on a break. So he did this in an effort to intimidate him. Now, to be clear, Kid Cudi came out and told the New York Times in a statement that that allegation was true. Cassie also alleged that Diddy had once dangled a friend over a 17th floor balcony, another intimidation tactic, and that he had asked her to carry his gun in her purse. So, yeah. She's saying, I dated this man, he is a thug, he is a gangster, and immediately Diddy came out and completely denied this. He tried to kind of get this filed under Me Too. Oh, I would never do this. Well, an update, I was off air when this happened. I know that you guys have probably seen the video. I'm not going to show it because it's so horrific, but a video of Diddy absolutely pummeling Cassie came out. Following Diddy's arrest, Speculation has emerged that Oprah might be feeling vulnerable due to her potential connection with him. Oprah Winfrey has been implicated in the Diddy case by federal authorities due to her alleged involvement in human trafficking. In a desperate attempt to evade justice, Oprah reportedly tried to OD. Gail King, her close confidant, posted an update revealing that Oprah is currently in the hospital, suggesting she is trying to avoid facing the serious charges against her. Meanwhile, Oprah's public relations team is in overdrive, attributing her hospitalization to complications from the weight loss drug Ozempic. Additionally, reports have surfaced that Oprah was allegedly involved in harvesting children in Hawaii for their anti-aging properties. Speculation is going that Oprah may emerge from the hospital with a disability, potentially silencing her permanently about the accusations accusations of trafficking children from her African school and exploiting kids in Hawaii for high-profile elite. Critics have drawn parallels between Oprah and Diddy, suggesting that their alleged involvement in broader conspiracies connects them. Some believe that the two are part of a coordinated effort to advance specific agendas. Many people don't understand a big part of the confusion and shame for child victims is that the attention and the seduction from the predator, who is probably going to be somebody you know. Right. In order for it to work, it has to be somebody you know, somebody you admire, somebody you respect, or maybe even love. And it feels good. I mean, if you're seven years old and somebody, which I was trying to say this to my friends who had children, you're seven years old and someone is stroking your penis, it feels good. Right. 
even though you don't have a name for what that is, it feels good. About the me, it's so confusing you know? for children. Yeah. And when I first said this years ago, people were like, you're crazy because everybody wants to believe it's like sexual assault and you're being thrown up against the wall and you're being raped. And I have said for years, if the abuser is any good, it, you won't even know it's happened. You will be in it and you won't even know it's happened. And if the abuser is any good, he or she is going to make you feel like you're a part of it. I mean, and nothing is more being a part of it than what we just Both are accused of engaging in unethical behavior behind the scenes while maintaining a public image of success and philanthropy. Additionally, they have faced allegations of being part of secretive networks that control various aspects of the entertainment industry and beyond. They didn't use the word sexual abuse. They implied that something inappropriate was going on. Hearing that, John Samuel, uh, immediately after hearing that allegation, removed the accused, Tiny Makopo, from the campus. I was, needless to say, devastated and, and really shaken to my core when I first heard this news. And uh, immediately within the first hour of receiving this information, I contacted here in the United States, Dr. Bruce Perry, who is founder of the Child Trauma Academy in Houston, Texas. And Dr. Perry informed me that the law in the United States requires that one must report even if you suspect uh, child abuse, it must be reported to the Child Protective Services. And so he said, if I were you, I would confirm if that is also the law in South Africa, which I did. That's it for today's video. Stay tuned for more updates and we'll see you next time.